Hello, and welcome to another video in the Feb Scary campaign series. In the previous video, we showed how sheep are sexually abused and bred for the commodification of their bodies. In this video, we're going to expose how birds are violated and have their reproductive systems exploited for monetary gain. Let's start with broiler chickens. Broiler chickens are specifically raised to be murdered for their flesh. Broiler chicks come from their parent breeders who are kept in specific sheds for breeding. Parent birds are raised and kept until approximately 64 weeks and produce about 160 fertile eggs. These eggs will hatch and produce the meat chicken flocks whose flesh is processed for human consumption. The most common practice for breeding parent birds is the introduction of roosters to the barn. There is typically one male to every 10 breeder hens placed in a laying barn. Roosters are known to be aggressive around other males and towards hens when mating. So to introduce so many of them to overcrowded confined sheds can only be described as cruel as the birds have no way of escaping each other. One of the most harrowing accounts I've ever seen from inside a parent breeding shed is from animal liberation activist Patty Marks. Many of the hens at this shed are red raw. They have, there's no feathers on their backs at all. They've been repeatedly raped by the roosters. It's a common practice in the um, chicken industry that when the hens are getting old to increase their productivity, they kill all the roosters at about 50 weeks of age and bring in young roosters to make the hens to get further eggs out of them. What Patty described is called spiking a flock. Older males are removed and slaughtered, and younger males are introduced who are more sexually active. The breeding hens really don't get a break and are repeatedly mated. A less common but still practice method for breeding farm birds is AI. And for this practice, most farm birds undergo a similar process. First, let's explore the process for semen collection from the rooster. The rooster is pinned down, unable to move, and is massaged to stimulate the copulatory organ, or the phallus. This is followed quickly by pushing the tail forward with one hand and at the same time using the thumb and forefinger to apply pressure to the area where the semen is then milked. Near to the testes, uh, and you're going to want to stroke in that spot to stimulate the rooster. And you do that for just like a couple minutes, and then squeeze with your thumb and forefinger when you can see him uh, extending a little organ. Um, and you should get this uh, liquid here which the rooster will actually suck in if you're not careful. Just about the right size for uh, sucking up any of the sperm that you get. Sometimes you can get a second go on a rooster, but it's not too common. He usually does it for me. This here is just blatant bestiality. This poor rooster has been sexually molested to have his sperm stolen. I wonder if this woman finds it weird or perverse to be holding down a defenseless being and sexually arousing him. Now, onto the hen. Again, here the hen is restrained. Her cloaca is exposed and a pipette with semen is inserted into her vagina. Can you imagine what this would be like? Held down against your will and forcefully penetrated? How confused and terrified these birds must be. Parent birds are systematically exploited for their reproductive systems and have their eggs taken away and placed in an incubator, which is an artificial way of hatching. In natural circumstances, the hen would help the chicks in hatching but instead her clutch of eggs are removed from her possession and she'll never have a chance to meet her young. When broiler chicks are just a day old, they're transported in modules called chick boxes from the hatchery to the rearing farm. The chicks are placed in the rearing sheds and kept in large mixed sex flocks. 10,000 to 20,000 birds or many more are kept in a single shed. The chicks are slaughtered at an extremely young age at around six to seven weeks old. These are just little babies in overgrown bodies. In the meantime, parent breeders spend their life going through a distressing cycle of reproduction. Kept in laying sheds being mated, where they rarely see the light of day, and then, at the end of it all, are murdered to be eaten by the unaware consumer. Egg-laying hens follow a similar distressing life of reproductive slavery. Chicken breeds specific to egg-laying are born in a hatchery. The males are deemed useless and do not produce eggs, so they are destroyed via maceration or gassing and the females are moved to a rearing site. A small number of males will be spared the macerator in order to serve with a selection of hens as parent birds, laying and fertilizing the eggs for the hatchery. The other hens are sent out to egg farms across the country. Here, they will spend their life laying eggs almost daily, which puts enormous strain on their internal organs. At around 60 to 70 weeks of age, egg production will slow down and the hens will be sent to the slaughterhouse. Artificial insemination of turkeys is similar to that of chickens, but is standard practice worldwide. 
Turkeys have been selectively bred to grow twice their natural size and are now too heavy and overgrown to naturally mate, so must now be artificially reproduced. Just like the rooster, the male turkey or stag is pinned down, has his phallus fiddled around with in true bestiality style and his semen is sucked out via a pipette. In this semen collection class, you can see that the turkey is forcefully pinned down and masturbated. If you only get most of the semen in the first squirt, not a you lot of semen, but it's the first time you've been done. Hold, 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 hold. Gonna help you out tonight. Here's a woman sucking the semen from the male to be inseminated into the female. Not weird at all, right? The female turkey is restrained and the semen is forced into her. She nearly laid eggs. So I'm putting a bit of pressure on her there. Take your time, Penny. I'm enjoy holding I'm her like this. I'm just showing people there. Really, you don't need that. Right. Take That's your time. Plenty. Oh, the turkey could be enjoying it too. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, she's shaking and so terrified that she shits herself. How can we think that this is acceptable to put animals through this vile, perverted process to impregnate them against their will and without their consent? Now the guys are doing my uh, artificial insemination. Uh, they do between five and 600 birds an hour. Uh, each bird gets artificial inseminated once a week. Recently, technologies have been introduced to make female penetration more efficient for large-scale insemination. This involves an insemination bench where the turkey is clamped down and molested. We could find turkey AI footage from nearly all over the world. But wait, what about the UK? With around 14 million turkeys slaughtered in the UK for meat in 2017 alone, and it being standard practice to artificially inseminate turkeys in the UK? Where's all the UK footage? What's the matter, UK turkey farmers? Are you too afraid to show us how you fiddle around with turkeys' private parts for profit? Where's all the UK evidence of high welfare turkey molestation? Please share this video far and wide with the hashtag Febuscary to those who need to see exactly the type of sexual abuse of non-consenting animals they are paying for when they purchase animal products. Let's all oppose and boycott the sexual exploitation of sentient beings, no matter the species. Thank you.